Greetings and welcome once again to a very short presentation. I um, was asked some time ago by one of my subscribers about how we got angle measurements. So the Greeks really measured angles in terms of right angles. So for example, this, this distance, this angle here would be a right angle. Okay, 90 degrees or... So if you wanted half of the right angle, it would be over there, right? But now there is another way to measure angles. If, for example, you join this line, you know that this here is a square root 2, the symptom of square root 2, because this, it's a right angle, isosceles triangle with sides equal. So you know that if you move starting from here all the way through to here, all these lengths here are different, therefore you can name every single one of these angles here in terms of right angles. So the Greeks knew this, okay? And they didn't actually care to do anything further. They didn't, for example, say, let's do what we do today, which is take the length of the arc and divide it by the radius. But if you take the length, the length of wherever the angle falls onto this, hypotenuse over the radius, it'll also be unique. So if you start there and you go through there, it'll be unique. Now, if you, you could obviously extend that length, you know, this way. Let's see if I can get a pen. So for example, you could have the length going like that over the radius, and you could have it unique for half a hemisphere, half a, sem half a hemisphere, excuse me. But that's not my purpose. And, uh, all I wanted to do is show you that there are ways of measuring it, unlike that fool, Norman Wildberger, with his idiotic rational trigonometry. Um, I can't believe somebody can be so stupid. So, uh, there you go. That's pretty much it. Still battling with my eyes. Hope to have my second surgery soon. I'm John Gabriel, New Calculus Channel. Goodbye.